In Newfoundland and Labrador, residents enjoy an extensive network of resource access roads. And although this forest road system is frequently used by cabin owners, hunters, and other recreational users, as the name implies, forest access roads are primarily constructed to access our forest resources. Forest roads are vital to our forest sector and are the workplace for many. Just as you may go to your office each day, many forestry workers head to the woods. Whether you're a forest worker traveling to and from your work site or hunter out looking for your moose, the goal of the Forestry Safety Association of Newfoundland and Labrador is to ensure everyone gets home safely. Users of forest access roads are reminded to use extreme caution, especially when traveling active logging roads. As a reminder, forest access roads are not always built to the same standard as highways. They are often narrow and have gravel surfaces. Roadside brush may limit visibility. You may encounter soft shoulders and little to no ditching. The roads themselves will have more frequent and tighter turns. Road grades may be steeper and bridges are generally one lane. In winter, roads are often icy and snow covered. They are also actively used by snowmobilers. When traveling a woods road, you should expect to encounter other vehicles, especially ATVs, obstructions such as holes, washouts, or debris, poor visibility due to dust or snow, others failing to follow traffic procedures, and wildlife. Finally, be aware of forestry roads with active logging operations. Here you will find more frequent traffic, logging trucks, graders, and other industrial equipment. Always remember, drive for the conditions and follow the rules of the road. Let's ensure everyone gets home safely. How do you know if you're entering an active logging road? Generally, these roads are marked with signage. However, be aware it is not uncommon to find unmarked small-scale forestry work occurring around the province. When entering an active logging road, always proceed with caution. Remember, you are entering an area where industrial operations are happening. Equipment is often large and cannot maneuver as quickly as passenger vehicles. Logging trucks will often travel in the middle or the crown of the road where loads are more balanced. Until a logging truck has gone through the load aligners, their loads may be unstable and have logs protruding. In winter, this instability can be compounded with ice and snow. Always yield right of way to industrial vehicles. Be aware, woodlands operations are constantly changing. Let's ensure everyone gets home safely. When traveling forest access roads where industrial operations are occurring, communication is key. Industrial operators follow an established radio protocol when traveling the road system. You may find active radio channels posted at the beginning of a road network. You will also see distance markers located at every kilometer going in and out of a road. As forestry vehicles pass each distance marker, the protocol is to broadcast the kilometers they're passing, the direction traveling, and the road name. Inbound on six. This lets other drivers know where they are at all times. Pick up in a tractor trailer hidden inbound. Terry, you should be good up to the load liners, Terry. There's a truck coming through now, so I think you'll be okay up to the load liners. It also allows them to know the location of others. If you frequently travel active logging roads, it's best to have a two-way radio and follow these established protocols. If you don't have a radio, you can always wait and follow a vehicle you know will be calling in. It's hard to know where you're at. So the safest way is coming beyond the, the wood trucks. Let's make sure everyone gets home safely. When traveling behind a logging truck, never attempt to pass. Follow at a safe distance. If you're following behind a truck and you see it begin to pull over to the side, it's probably preparing to meet another truck. 
pull over when they do. When traveling a road and you see or hear a truck approaching, always pull over and yield the right of way. If you have to stop along an active road, try and do so on a road pullout. If there are no pullouts, find a straight section with good visibility in both directions. Choose a section that's wide enough with plenty of room for vehicles to pass. When pulling over, move ahead and allow room for other traffic to safely pull in behind you if need be. Always avoid stopping on turns or on the crests of hills. Drive safe speeds according to road and weather conditions. Obey the speed limit and never exceed 50 kilometers per hour. Hands-free always, no phone or texting. Don't drink or use cannabis and drive. Wear your seat belt. Drive with both your headlights and taillights on. Yield to industrial traffic. Only stop in safe, visible locations. Observe and obey all road signs. Drive on the right-hand side of the road. And always, please allow room so workers can safely do their job. Let's ensure everyone gets home safely.